Hey guys, Nicole Andrews here. So today I want to tell you a little bit about making mason jar salads. And the reason why mason jar salads are so good is because you'll always have a salad to go. I mean, I know sometimes I don't feel like making a salad and then I don't eat the salad. So if I don't get my greens in and I don't get my salad in, I'm more hungry, I don't get as much fiber, so I'm more hungry. So, you know, having mason jar salads can keep you from overeating. They can keep you having your greens, making sure that you eat them too. And overall, they're just a really great thing to make with your food preparation for the week. And I know that every week that I miss them, um, you know, I definitely miss them during the week because my diet is not really that great that week. So. I would suggest making mason jar salads once a week and um, so I'm going to show you how to do that. I don't have all the material that I want to show you now, but this is a good example because it doesn't mean that you can't make them. Just because you don't have everything doesn't mean that you can't make them. You can make them simple and delicious, okay? And the other thing is, you know, we've been kind of feeling like we're fighting off a cold here in the Andrews household. And so normally I would make everything homemade, homemade salad dressings, but let's face it, like, let's be honest. We don't always want to make our salad dressing, right? So here I want to show you what to look for in a salad dressing because that's the bottom of the jar. You want to get mason jars, first of all, because they help have like a really good seal. They help give your salad that fresh, um, that freshness that you really want to keep in there instead of just like a normal Tupperware. So you want to get mason jar salads and you mason jar salad mason jars. Hello, <laughs> and so you can put them in small glasses, glass jars, or you can get the really big ones. But I found when I was getting the really big ones, I was kind of getting like burnt out on salads. So do what you want with the size, but I would say, you know, about five or six would be good, and they actually do stay good throughout the whole week. It's amazing. And then you wanna start with your dressing, and a lot of the salad dressings out there, guys, are crap. I mean, let's face it. They have soybean oil and canola oil, and they have sugar and high fructose corn syrup, all the things we don't want in our diet. But there are certain companies that have been making some great dressings out there that are pretty good for bottled dressing when you really don't want to make your own. So here we have all raw vegan. These are fresh, um, fresh dressings that you can get from Whole Foods. It's coming straight from Glacier Organic Farms. They make they do a great job on dressings. The only thing you have in here is some organic orange juice, some balsamic vinegar, apple juice. Um, extra virgin olive oil, some garlic, shallots, orange zest, sea salt. So all good, in, all good ingredients, all good stuff. And so they also make some of the creamier dressings that a lot of people like that aren't so healthy, like honey mustard or ranch. So these are really good to get um, this All Raw Glacier Farms brand because even the honey mustard just has cold pressed extra virgin olive oil, organic mustard, apple cider vinegar, um, a little wildflower honey, and some seasonings. You know, so even, um, so these are really good, and also you have your Bragg's. Bragg's dressings are really good, guys, because they don't have a lot of ingredients. It's organic extra virgin olive oil, a little honey, a little liquid aminos, and um, they're coconut aminos. So there's no soy and it's really, it's a great dressing. They have a couple different varieties. So, okay, what you wanna do is you wanna start with the dressing in the mason jar salad, right? You wanna put in whatever you want. And I'm just gonna make one. I won't make all of these, but so you could see like as an example. So, you know, I never measure anything, but I would say like about two tablespoons for this big jar of salad would be good. A little more. It's all good stuff in there, so you can have a little more. Um, and then so you want to start to the thing with this is that you want to start with your hard vegetables okay so I've chopped up a couple different kinds of toppers here and I would start with carrots like you know whatever you want you can make your mason jar salads um, you know like a Greek salad or like um, goat cheese and cranberries or you know hearts of palm and um, avocado, you know, you can make them have a theme, but I tend to just kind of throw in whatever I have in the fridge in them. So you put in 
your hard vegetables in the bottom, okay, so they don't get soggy. And um, then I put, so I have some carrots here, and I have some um, bell peppers here, and you always wanna do organic, right? So some bell peppers there, and then I have some tomatoes, got some really nice tomatoes. So then you put a little tomatoes, um, what else? We got avocado, and yes, believe it or not, the avocado does stay good once it's all sealed and packed in there. And then I also put in some artichoke hearts, um, very good for the liver, detoxification, and we always need more detox, right? So the very last thing to go, guys, is your salad, because you don't want that sticking to any of the dressing or any of that stuff. Um, now, what I would put in between the vegetables and the salad is your protein. So I'm gonna make that up later in a separate container, um, but you know whether it's chicken or fish or ground turkey or whether it's um, sprouts, you know, sometimes I just use a bunch of sprouts, sprouted sunflower seeds, you could use um, a little goat cheese. So whatever you want in there, and then you put the salad on top. And sometimes you get a little heavy handed with all the vegetables, there's not much left for greens. So, um, but believe it or not, you could really just squish them down there. And um, that's really it, and this is so pretty. They look so pretty. So, um, look at that. All the colors of the rainbow, right? So squish your salad in there, as much as you can get in there, and when you're ready to eat it, what you do is you take it and you empty it in a bowl or in like a big Tupperware, and you empty it out and mix it all up, and there you go. You have your nice side salad for your dinner or whether you bring it to lunch. You know, there's so many benefits of having these little guys around so that you can get in all the colors of the rainbow, right? I mean, how pretty is that? And then it's sealed. So listen, I hope you make mason jar salads every week. If you need some personal assistance, just let me know. But like I said, this is what I had in the house. I thought I would make a quick video and show you guys how to do this because it would add so much to your daily diet if you started doing these mason jar salads every week. Okay, so I hope you try it. Have a great day. See ya.